Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to make a coffee that's a favorite of ours. It's a cinnamon spice, coconut oil coffee. A lot of you actually enjoy the uh, pumpkin spice coffees and lattes that they make today. So I'm going to show you how to do it and keep it pretty healthy. Um, one of the ingredients obviously will be coconut oil. One of the most important things you can do with coffee is put some of this in there. There's a couple of reasons. First, it will help balance out the coffee. Coffee spikes your insulin and can cause your whole day to go a little wacky if your blood sugar gets out of check. This will create a layer in the stomach. The coconut oil will help regulate the insulin. Also, another incredible part of this since winter is coming up is that if you just put even just a little in there, I, we actually put a lot, but if you even put just a little, the layer of coconut oil will actually keep your lips so moist that you'll never need chapstick. If you drink this in the morning, there's no way you'll need chapstick, even in the dead of winter. Uh, so that's going to be one of the ingredients. We'll actually go ahead and I'll do this in the order. So for these two, uh, it is coming winter in Pittsburgh, so you can see the coconut oil is uh, pretty tough. So I'm going to go ahead and put these, these in there. As you can see, I put a, a liberal amount of it. If you've never had coconut oil, go much less. If you eat it frequently, you can be more liberal. So this would be a pretty decent amount for someone that eats it straight up. But if you're someone who doesn't, again, let your stomach adjust and take smaller bites of it or put smaller amounts in your coffee. So that's in there. Another thing we're going to do is put cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon is actually one of the greatest things you can put in your body. Cinnamon, I mean, well, first you should smell it because it's linked to making your cognitive responses a whole lot better. It lowers your LDL cholesterol, which is what you want to happen. It also helps your blood sugar. And the other thing that it does is cinnamon is actually antifungal, much like its friend over here, Mr. Coconut Oil. This will as will the coconut oil both fight candida. The interesting thing is the cinnamon is said to act that, that candida actually can't live in an environment of cinnamon. So if you want to kill candida, you, you kill sugar because sugar feeds it. But if you're just adding this in, that's going to help. So we're going to do that. A couple of those sticks into there. And now, uh, oh, by the way, cinnamon sticks got these at Trader Joe's. So, easy enough. And the coconut oil, I guess I should have mentioned, Trader Joe's coconut oil right there. Uh, the pumpkins we put there, we're not actually going to use them, but we wanted to make the set really pretty and awesome. So, you know, you could put, I wouldn't, though. Uh, the other thing is, you can get all of this stuff yourself, but I just made it simple. Trader Joe's has a pumpkin pie spice that people use to put in, obviously, pumpkin pies. You could go to Whole Foods or your grocery store, wherever you go, um, Ralph's if you're in California, and you can get all, all of this. There's going to be a little more cinnamon. As you can see, we already put cinnamon in there, but I love the cinnamon. It's just awesome in this when it mixes with the coconut oil. So there is a little more cinnamon. Ginger, lemon peel. For those who have pumpkin spice lattes, a lot of times they'll have an orange peel. It's kind of interchangeable. Nutmeg, always found in the pumpkin spice latte cloves and cardamom, which I don't really use and know what it is that much well, so whatever. Um, it doesn't have a thing on it, so I'm going to have to do that. And you know, you don't want to overload it. The cinnamon alone can be a little weird if you put too much in there and it can't affect your stomach. Like I said, it's not bad, it's good, but you want to be careful if you've never had it. And I am very sloppy with this stuff. And to give it a little bit of a latte flavor, we use a product called So, it's coconut milk creamer. I will tell you that once we go into this, the health and nutrition of this goes slightly down, but if you're one of those people who really enjoys this type of thing, um, it's non-dairy, I think that's already a really big benefit. It's four, gra four grams of sugar per every tablespoon. That's actually not horrible. So I try to go with maybe a tablespoon and a half. So I'm gonna kind of free pour this. 
into there like that. You can see it's kind of sitting on the bottom. And I think I'm pretty good with that measurement right in there. That's really not that bad. Uh, there are some ingredients in this stuff. Anytime you buy coconut milk, almond milk, and all that, they say they're super healthy because they're an alternative to dairy. But if you read the back, you'll find some, you know, interesting things in there. Again, it's better, and we won't make a big deal about that. So, we've got these ready. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the coffee in there out of our little miniature coffee maker. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit more to talk about here because this question always comes up. Now that we've done this, the coffee officially looks weird. So, okay, if you're looking in the coffee now, you're going to see that you first you see the coconut oil here. You see all those bubbles. That's the coconut oil melting. So you're going to see this is going to melt from the heat, which is good, and it's going to create a fat oil that's going to rise to the top. I like it as is. Um, so that's going to be mine. Julianne, on the other hand, doesn't like it like that as well. So what I'm going to do is stir it up a little bit for her. That coconut oil is going to rise again, because that's what it does. Um, that's not bad. It's the coconut oil on every single sip that you take of this is going to be the first thing that hits your lips. It's going to moisturize your lips. It's also going to add that aromatic flavor to the coffee really quick. And the coconut oil will sort of soak in that cinnamon and, you know, those fun spices that we put in. So every, every uh, sip that you take, you're going to get all that flavor. And it's pretty awesome. I mean, they should put coconut oil in coffee all the time just for even just the flavoring reason. It just holds it perfectly. Um, I guess that's it. So enjoy your uh, Halloween, October type spicy coffee.